All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with part two of our uh, Desert Atom nuclear power plant renovation. All right, so another thing we're going to do now is we're going to take this. We're going to take that. Boom. Freak. I thought I already set the position. What? I'm fine. And then we're going to take this. Belt that up a little. Belt that up a little. We're gonna make a little stairwell here. Make that a little bigger. Boom. Now, whoops, get a hole in the ceiling. All right, now we're gonna take that, and we're, we can add some stairs here. I'm using this as a placeholder. It's not the finished stairs. Come on. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, now we need some light in here. Which means we need some glowstone. Oh, dynamic lighting, look at that. Boop. We'll put in all four of our corners here. All right, whoops. All right, now you can choose to run this two ways, this coated copper cable. So we could run it under here like this. There we go. So you can set it like that. We're going to have a little thing going up the wall here, and then it's going to go back up and over like that. Boom. Now, obviously, you want to go in here and replace this too, just so it's actually connected. Because if your bottom part's not connected to your top part, then the top part's not getting any power. Very important life advice. All right, so we can have a little fork split off of here and go to a little line of stuff here. I don't know why I dug that out when I could simply have done that. Then we can have like centrifuges and stuff here. You can configure this how you want to. I'm just showing you just, oops. <laughs> I'm just showing you uh, how I would do it. Hope I didn't need that ax anymore. All right, we're going to check on our RBMK. We're still holding uh, good at uh, 692 degrees Celsius, which is just enough to make that super dense steam that we be talking about. All right, so now we're going to get some tools. Or the machines, really. So we're going to go to our NTM machines. You can choose any machine you feel like. I am personally going to go with anything that doesn't require that kind of nonsense. So we could take this. We're gonna obviously we're gonna probably take a, a generator or two just for redundancy. I mean, <laughs> realistically, so we could have that. Let's see what else we can add. A centrifuge, of course. You gotta have your centrifuges. You could have your power converters if you want to use uh, RF. Like if you have something from a different mod, you could use that. All right. So now we're gonna take our shredder all these brand new things <laughs> okay electric furnace so we could have boom boom and we could have like centrifuges on this side gotta make sure it's facing the right direction coolest thing is you want to have your little iranian flag like that so if you can see your iranian flag on the right side, and then you're good. That should work as intended. All right, and then, and then we're gonna have this here, with little centrifuges by themselves. I haven't managed to blow up a centrifuge yet, which is kind of disappointing. Probably need a specific amount of burner, um, not burners, uh, centrifuges for them to explode. I thought we had an electric burner thing here. There it is. I'm a little blind. God has not given me well sight. <laughs> so you could have that there. Where would be a good place for this? You could stick that under here, honestly. Hide it out of the way. Make it not look so ugly. You can have diesel generators. Look at that. Doesn't, doesn't that look nice? Technium barrel, and then we're going to grab a uranium hexafluoride 
tube, which is this one. And now we're going to put this up here. Set this to output, just like that. So whenever we put uh, uranium hexafluoride in here, we could actually double stack that too if we wanted to. We're going to set that to output. We're also going to set that to output. So that's going to drain the uh, uranium hexafluoride into our uranium, your um, uranium centrifuges. That's kind of what they are. I was going to say Iranian centrifuges because that's actually what they are. <laughs> but all right, so now we're pretty much done with the top floor. You can add some windows if you want. I personally like to see the outside world, especially if there's an RBMK like reactor outside. You want to see that before you go outside and get a nice little lethal dose of radiation. You know, we got to spice the place up a little. This is my world edit, okay? Boom. Look at that. That looks so much better. You can see the little geyser in the distance. The turbines out here just turbining away. We do the same thing here. We're going to do the little tall windows this time. A tall one and a big one. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Doesn't that look better? You gotta love having decorations in your house. Or nuclear pro uh, processing facility. And you could even put one here if you're so inclined. I I love windows for some reason. Alright, now. As you can see, don't have any stairs. It's gonna be a problem. It's a very big problem. So we're going to configure it in such a case. Let me get some actual stairs first. <clears throat> we're going to go with uh, Ducrete brick stairs. Whoops. <laughs> One of these times we'll place it right. Boom. All right. So we're going to have a little landing pad here, and then it's going to go this way. Stairs are not my forte, apparently. But fine, whatever. You know what? That's that's great. Uh, that's that's great. No, that's that's actually wonderful. That works out so well. Oh, God. I don't know what happened between this t time and the last time, but my stairs are not looking too good. Wonderful. We have stairs. Not good stairs, mind you, but they are stairs. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and take... I probably do it right here. I'm just going to walk down this little hallway here. Just boom. Wall. Instant wall. And then we can set block to air. Start cutting things out here. I'm an absolute master at this. You can never see anybody use a builder's wand as quick as I do. I mean, probably you can. Oh my god, I didn't fix this window here. This is dreadful. Alright. Probably do another one here. Oh. That's the problem sometimes. That truly really is uh, something you do have to worry about. Actually forgetting to change your builder wand over. From whatever you were working with to what, it, what you're working with now. Alright, so now we're going to take that. And one more time. Boom. Hmm. Just trying to figure out what's different. Believe it or not, it actually is annoying me. One properly proper. <laughs> How's the stairs the bane of my existence? Who knows? I don't think that's exactly how it was, but you know what? 
For the sake of my sanity, I'm rolling with it. I think this actually went the opposite direction. We're learning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these went, like, this way. Which is a little... There we go. I think I'm figuring it out now. I had a little spaghetti noodle moment. And I got confused. There we go. Yes, that is functional. Alright, now... So... If we look at our diagram, or our other building... Has this running to this. So we're going to run that to that to make it look like it's powered. I'm going to replace the steel with that to make it look even more powered. Powered, yes. Okay. Then we're going to surround it with this. Now, mind you, this is going to be a little shorter than it was in the other video. Because I'm kind of just like... I am cutting some corners because I'm trying to make this video actually, like, not 30 minutes long. We'll go ahead and put two diesel generators up here for redundancy. And simply, like, it would be better to have a diesel tank on top of your building instead of just, like, inside your building. If that makes sense. I'm just going to search for it. Boom. Okay, that's a little close. Nope. <laughs> like I said, my mouse is a little reactive. Alright, and if I take... I'm going to need that. Diesel. Diesel, and then a couple diesel barrels. We're going to go with the big one. We could switch this out to infinite, if you feel like it. We're going to freaking... Ah, crap. I'm kind of changing it as I go, because the last time I didn't have a diesel generator on top of my reactor building. Boom. Look at that. And then we can pipe that to this. Ding, 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 ding. You know, have that set to output. It's not. It's not. Stop. That is the one downside of generators. Back to any noise. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Alright, so now, down here we're going to make a battery backup. Alright, so down here we're going to go ahead and have a little battery bank. So we're going to use two, maybe three spark cells. So we could have, like, cables. So we're going to have uh, this. Boom, boom, and boom. Have it like that. All right, just like that. And we're going to have these connected like this. <clears throat> and now you could have it set up in such a case. We have all these connected down here. So what 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 this will do it would a bit of freak I can't speak English properly. Believe it or not, I'm trying to learn a new language. <laughs> not crazy, right? I can't even speak English, and I'm trying to be like super believe motherfucker. <laughs> okay, oh, wand. I lost my wand, which is just wonderful. I think I just tossed it, honestly. Alright, so we're going to set block air, and boom, boom, get myself up here. Alright, and now, just run that back here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and have that like that. Alright, now we are going to... We need a bunch of applied energetic stuff. I'm looking for an ME drive. ME drives. We need ME controller. 
I don't think we actually need that, but I'd like to use it. All right, I think we'd go with lime green this time. Brown. Oh, I was hovering over the wrong thing. I was like, what brown? I'm going to grab our crafting terminal. And we need a uh, cell. An energy acceptor. And an HE to RF converter. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in tandem here. Boom, just like that. You probably want to route a like bypass under it too. So you can still continue getting power to what else you need, whatever else you need. Boom, 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 just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, energy acceptor. We're going to put that directly on top, and then we're going to have that going into that, which is then going to go into our ME controller, which is then going to our array of drives. You can put these drives wherever you want to. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make a little uh, little wall here. Go with four, maybe six. We're gonna go with six this time. And you can just route it up however you want. Look at how cool that looks. Alright, so now what we can do to make it blend in for the most part. So we can cover all this up. I'm going to take that antenna thing out. We're not going to need that. We can cover all that up. Now we can take that out. We're going to put this here. Oops. Oh, you know what? I think I just need a regular lime. Limer. You don't need the dense one. I don't know why I put a dense one. I Simply probably because it was close. There you go, lime green for the win. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're looking for a facade here. Yeah. A quicker thing to do would be look up uh, concrete bricks. Or just concrete. Just look for it, boom. And now it's going to cover that up, boom. Look how clean that looks. That is beautiful. Okay, so what you could also do while you're down here is you could put some processing stuff here. Like you could put uh, furnaces and stuff. Oh, I didn't know we could actually use an arc furnace. I'm going to put an electric furnace or two down here. And then I don't think this is tall enough for a centrifuge, so unfortunately... I, okay, you could just probably just you, know, you can do that. I mean, you already have centrifuges at your like upstairs, but if you wanted to have them down here, there you go. That is your store um, processing room. You got your storage, and over here it, you could probably make it into your bedroom or something. You could put down some green carpet. We don't have freaking... That's right. We don't have colored beds in this version. Life kind of sucks, man. Not gonna lie. Alright, so now... That is pretty much it for that. We're gonna go ahead and start lighting stuff up here because it is dark. Also, we gotta make sure your RBMK console is lit up at all times. So you want to see what bre uh, buttons you're pressing. At least you have, like, the biggest nuclear incident, I mean, nuclear accident in history. Alright, there we go. I wish there was, like, a way you could just turn these off. Like, with a switch or something. But alas, I think that's pretty much everything we can uh, cover in this. We had energy storage cells up here before, but that's kind of redundant, honestly. So we're going to take this. This is the most ambitious thing I've done yet. Yeah, 
Uh, that kind of looks bad. I'm not going li to lie. Hmm. Lime concrete. Yep, I'm going with that. I don't usually like green this much, but I thought I thought that I should represent my color a little more. All right, boom. Look at that. That, that doesn't look too horrible. It kind of looks like a computer. Oops. Oh, okay. So, all right, all right, all right. So I'm going to go with black, too. Just for the one side. Sorry, this one. Is this the concrete? Yes. Okay. Kind of looks like a dream now. <laughs> Boom. It looks interesting. I wouldn't say it looks good. It doesn't look horrible. But now, we can put our... Oops. Now we can put our stuff in here. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. What can you say? You win some, you lose some. I just happen to lose a lot. Let's get that up here. Maybe then it'd work. Oh, it, it's hidden now. I, at least something. Even if it doesn't work. Oops. Heck yeah. Woohoo. Come on. Why is it not working? I don't get it. I do not actually get it. Right, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of those. Oh, you. I know why it's not working. It needs drives. Who knew? The ME system needs storage. I swear I'm a little slow sometimes. All right, yes. So now you want to add some yeah, drives to your ME system. Gonna go with that. Sixteen. Okay, so. Yeah, who knew? You needed storage for this. All right, so we're going to slot two storage drives in here. You can fill this up with however many you feel like filling it up with. I'm just doing two for the sake of my sanity. All right, and then you can start throwing stuff in here. And see, now it works because we figured out how to use it properly. Uh, anyway, fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, This how to build the... Uh, Desert Atom Plant Part 2. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.